This video provides a basic tutorial for performing a search in Sport Discus, a database that is focused on research related to sport and sport medicine. To get to Sport Discus from the library's homepage, click on the database's A to Z link. Type Sport Discus into the search box. If prompted, enter your UMNet ID and password. Once you're on the database's main page, enter your keywords into the main search box and hit the search button. Before you start reviewing your results, you might want to use some of the limits available on the left-hand side of the screen. Limits will help you narrow your search results, weeding out information that might be less relevant. While you might not need to use all of your limits, there are a couple that are especially important. For example, by selecting scholarly peer-reviewed journals, you can ensure that the articles in your results list have been checked by experts in the field and published in credible scholarly sources, making them a great choice for research. You may also want to change the range of your publication date to make sure you are getting the most recent information available on your topic. You can type in your preferred date range manually or use the sliding scale. Your results should update automatically. If applicable, additional limits are available. At this stage, you can begin looking through your results. If something looks interesting, be sure to read over the abstract. It should provide a short description of the entire article, letting you know whether the information would be useful to you. Once you find an article that fits well with your research topic, you'll want to read the full text. Sometimes the PDF is available right here in the database, but usually you will need to select the Check Library Access symbol to get full text. It should take you to a new page with at least one link to the full text article. Once you click on a link, you will be brought directly to the journal's website, and in most cases, directly to your article. While each website will look a bit different, you should be able to spot a PDF option fairly easily. By clicking here, you can save or print the article. For more help with finding articles, contact your subject librarian.